Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. Who are you running from, anyway? What's the matter, Duke? Have you used your hands? Crooked promoters. Why'd you do it, Duke? Angry managers. One simple task, and you blew it. I put my faith, and I put my money in you. One false move, and I'll blow your head off. What you do? Well, I was a boxer. Some boxing chump you are. But nobody gives a rat's ass about you. It makes for some very angry people after me. <laughs> Who else wants me dead? This is fucking crazy. This is personal now. You! And who is that? She's my niece. Yeah, how do I know that? By the way, it's prize fight, not pride fight. And you should know that. Welcome back, Tollings. I'm Cognac Elaine, and we are here for the screening of the film Rotten Luck, right here at the Anthology Archives. And I'm here with one of the fabulous actors in the film. He's very handsome. He looks a little bit like Ernest Borgnine, and maybe a little bit like Edward G. Robinson, if you remember Mr. Robinson many years ago and all those fabulous old movies on Turner Classic films, but he's right here sitting next to me and he's going to talk about the film and how he became involved in it. Introduce yourself to the camera, darling. Why, thank you, Cognac. My name is James Ciccone and I got involved with this project through uh, Joe Melly, the uh, producer and director. Very and great. filmmaker. And filmmaker, absolutely. Joe's a wonderful guy to work with, uh, very encouraging, new filmmaker, but really up and coming type of guy. He's real quality work and a great guy to work with. And uh, he cast me for this role of uh, Carmine, who is, I guess you can say, the antagonist uh, of the film in Rotten Luck. He's the guy that stands in the way of the, the lead uh, character's goal, trying to be accomplished. I'm a crooked fight promoter. I'm kind of a guy who can't get out of his way, so to speak. Crooked fight promoter. Uh, I send my guys to knock him off uh, after the, he doesn't take the dive. His name is Duke. Prize fighter. I think we've we've seen those movies before back in the Turner Classic days. Yes. <laughs> the prize fighter who doesn't go down. But anyway, Duke doesn't take the dive, and uh, I have a lot of money on that. Supposedly, I'm a local mob guy, so I have my guys knock uh, Duke off, but it doesn't quite work out that way. So Carmine's kind of this guy who thinks he has a privilege, he has some sort of right as a, a mob guy and a guy who wants to be in control of things, but in reality, he really doesn't have control of anything. Uh, he doesn't get his, his way with the fight. Uh, the guy doesn't take the dive. He doesn't get Duke knocked off. Uh, he's he, the villain. He's the villain, but he's not very good at it. He's not successful. I think... Well, I think well, sort villains of, are never successful in films. Don't you know that? There's always no. a good, happy ending, yeah, right? most of them. Isn't, isn't that usually the way it is? There's always a happy ending it's most of the much. time? I guess so. But in this case, uh, anyway, Duke is sort of the guy. He's like the Rocky. He's the guy who you want to jump in the ring with and root for, so to speak. 
Uh, he's that guy that people want to be with him on his journey, mm -hmm. and I'm the guy who's chasing after him. So uh, he pretty much, you know, as we know, well, I don't know, I don't want to give up the film yet, but Carmine is this guy who everything kind of goes wrong for him, and he's the bad guy who stands in the way. I don't want to give up too much of the film, but these guys are welcome to see it. I'm sure Joe Melli has it up uh, on the web, possibly at dangiofilms.com. Possibly. Yes, it's up already, darling. Up already. As we okay. speak, we can all go look at this fabulous film right on the internet. Now, this movie, this film, this character that you portray, um, do you like portraying characters like this? Uh, not particularly, no. I, I don't like any cast for these roles, but, you know... But you, you play them so well. Well, an actor has to, has to, you know, do an element of character development to prepare for that role. And, uh, you know, you have to answer the calling if you're called for the role. I get called for these type of roles often in a lot of indie films, and uh, I'd like to broaden what my you, range. That's what I want to ask you. What would you like to do? What kind of film would you like to play I'd like, a part? I could do more of the blue collar, the honest guy, the dad, uh, the construction worker. You know, I could see you playing a part like that. You know, the Very gym easily. teacher, the school teacher, you know, more of a broader range of that... Um, endearing neighborhood guy instead of that uh, swaggering tough guy type role. But uh, it's pretty good. I got called in for uh, Boardwalk Empire this week for the role of, uh, of a laborer, which was good. Uh, opposite... Uh, oh, my husband loves that. Yeah. He watches that all the time. It's a good show. Opposite yeah. Al Capone. I don't think I got the role. I didn't get called today. So, But we'll see. You know, we keep trying. Well, you know, that's right. Being on uh, Cognac's Corner on the Long Island Exchange, you might have good luck, right? Right. You never know who's going to see me out there and put me in, right? Tell my That's audience the website. Where can we go to find out more information about you as an actor? JamesSicconi.com. Spell it. J-A-M-E-S-C-I-C-C-O-N-E.com. Just like Madonna. Oh, I was just Same about list. to say that. Are you related? No. Maybe you are, and you don't know it. It's possible. We met a few times back in the early 80s. Fabulous. Fabulous. We'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews coming up right here at the Anthology Archives. Thanks for having me. Big champagne kisses. Fantasy dress to impress. One of a kind girl. This has been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.